With December just around the corner, this means we're nearly through with 2019. Hi everybody and welcome to Get Indie Gaming, where today we're looking at 10 indie games coming out in December 2019 we think you might want to check out. We begin with interrogation, you will be deceived. Here you play as the lead of an elite task force of investigators looking to stop the terrorist group known as the Liberation Front. The black noir theme used here is particularly striking, as is the overall premise of the game itself. Interrogation has been designed to simulate real interrogation conversations and scenarios, where you look to discover the truth by way of numerous real-life interview and influence methods and strategies. The sketch-like figures are the combination of thousands of rotoscoped photographs from over 40 different actors, and gives it an almost ghost-like and celluloid quality. Added in the mix are also underlying themes of radicalization, police brutality and the imbalance and disdain those with access to the machinery of power hold and have over the powerless. Interrogation You Will Be Deceived launches on home PC December 5th, with a port coming onto the Switch in the spring of next year. At number 9 and 1 at Get Indie Gaming, we discussed back and forth about adding it to this countdown, simply because of the age of the franchise, although we know how much love there is from us and the wider indie game community, so it made the cut, albeit perhaps a tad lower that some might expect. Shovel Knight King of Cards is the final instalment of the Shovel Knight series. You play as King Knight himself as he makes his way through four new worlds and more than 20 brand new courses on his quest to give the good news to the three kings who rule over the land. As always, the gameplay rewards the typical signature brash and bash attack with the follow-up finishing spinning move. There's a whole heap of new abilities, weapons and armour with which to be keeping you looking at your very best. Once you're done with the adventuring and want to hang up your shovel, there's more to do by way of the card-based battles with future subjects from across the world. Shovel Knight King of Cards is out December 10th. It comes to the PlayStation 4, the Switch, the Xbox One and home PCs via Steam. Up now and at number 8, Earth Knight drops on December the 3rd and is being touted as an illustrated epic 2D side-scroller that plays tribute to and is almost a love letter to classic arcade games. While these sort of phrases can force my eyeballs to roll backwards in their sockets, there's something about Earth Knight that's very pleasing on multiple levels. I just love how all the art and animation have been pulled together. Earth Knight features more than 10,000 frames of animation, each being hand-painted and it looks dazzling for it. The hand-painted ethos extends into the level designs, all of them are also procedurally generated, which of course means in theory no two runs will be alike. Then of course there's the soundtrack which features more than 20 original tunes written especially to interweave with the gameplay. Earth Knight looks pretty special and could be a long, real slow burner for those wanting something fresh while laced with nostalgia. At number 7, and while already out on Apple Arcade, Mosaic comes to Steam and all the usual consoles on December the 5th. Do you ever feel stuck in a rut? That your life has no real meaning? Well, that's the proposition here at work in Mosaic. The protagonist goes about his regimented daily grind of commuting and work, all the while staring into his smartphone for those small doses of dopamine that make everyday existence that little bit better. It's certainly a dark place with which to begin, although it feels feistily executed. Firstly, by way of the subtle but depressingly claustrophobic grey and all-round drab colour scheme. While there are reviews to be had from those who've played this on their iOS devices, I'm going into this fresh faced on the story and overall plot. With this coming from Kilbright Studio and published by Raw Fury, 
I'm confident I'll take the character on more of a journey than just his daily grind. Up now at number 6, and something in some ways which looks quite aesthetically odd, Skellboy tells the tale about a king's evil wizard who having separated from his girlfriend, well he decides to annoy the people of the kingdom by making the dead rise from their grave. While many an evil spirit popped back from six feet under, the evil wizard also summoned one of the world's long dead heroes, the bag of bones that is Skippy, and it's with this character you travel across the kingdom to vanquish the evil wizard's henchmen. While honestly, as I've said earlier, somewhat odd to look at, it looks like being a fine grin to the face with its combat and the ability to interchange Skippy's body parts to acquire new abilities within what looks quite a lush and vibrantly coloured world. All in, I suppose it kind of comes across as an action RPG that's not taking itself altogether too seriously, which makes a fine change. Skellboy is expected to come out early December on Steam and the Nintendo Switch. At number 5, and while out on PC for a while, it's finally coming to consoles. By that of course I mean Big Pharma, which is a strategy simulation game. You take over the reins of a pharmaceutical conglomerate. It's really up to you in how you go about steering your managerial ship, while putting on a pair of nice person trousers and doing good deeds for humanity. Well, that's not often the best way to go about making your firm the money it needs to keep the pills and other things rolling off the factory floors. With over 35 different business challenges to look into and seven different farmer based scenarios, it really is up to you in what business model you try, although you will need to balance the books to keep your head above the water. With a free build mode to accompany the main game, there's plenty for budding healthcare barons to get finely glassy eyed over. Our number 4, Don't Die Minerva, steps onto the stage this December in early access, and it's expected to be there for around 6 to 12 months. Here we have an action RPG roguelite set within a haunted house. While death is always around the corner, like any decent game of this sort, each venture sees you become stronger and more able to deal with the horrors and nasties before you. For an end of year little Christmas jaunt with ghosts and ghouls, Don't Die Minerva with its randomly generated levels could scratch my roguelite itch going into the new year. So here we go into the final podium of the year and on the bottom step we have Watam. This comes from the creator of Katamari. Watam will ship, so to speak, on December 17th. It'll be available on home PC via the Epic Store, with it also coming to the PlayStation 4. The game is expected to come to Steam at some point, although as of yet there's no fixed date for when this is likely to happen. As you can tell, Watam is quite the odd looking game. You play as a green cube shaped character who also happens to be Mare, and he wants nothing more than to bring friendship and happiness into his community. In order to do this, you will be needing to undertake some quite odd behaviour, which gets right proper daft in places. For example, one of the things you need to do is help a hot air balloon, well you need to help him or it get over its fear of heights. Said to be a reaction against the conflict driven game so prevalent in our market, Wattam looks set to be a rare piece of top quality fanciful silliness. At number 2, and given how much we here at Get Indie Gaming love our twin stick shooters, we simply couldn't leave Debt End Job off this December's rundown. While already available like Mosaic from earlier on the Apple Store, Dead End Job comes to Steam and all of our favourite consoles December 13th. While there is a single player option, we are most looking forward to the couch co-op option, which all plays out like a Ren and Stimpy looking cartoon from the 90s within procedurally generated levels. You play as an employee from Ghouls Be Gone, which is the so called number one paranormal pest control company in the business. You'll earn your cash by making sure you get rid of all of the phantoms and other such undead creatures from offices, restaurants and many other places. Now one of the other factors we love here is how Dead End Job uses Twitch and Mixer integration. Viewers will be able to help or hinder streamers 
by way of deciding which power-ups the game will offer up, and that nod to spectator-based interactivity should help Dead End Job to make it as fun to watch as it is to play yourselves. So here we are, the final number one in our monthly countdown of the best looking indie games in 2019. Arise A Simple Story comes to the PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Home PC via the Epic Store December 3rd. This was first shown off a little over a few months ago on one of the Sony State of Play streams. While there's plenty of mystery about Arise, it promises a puzzle adventure game starting in Limbo, which covers the life of an elderly man with it said to be an emotional journey through his life where memories will come alive and time bends to the player's will. While at the time the video airs, there isn't too much in the way of public facing info on how this will play, I'm suspecting it will feature time manipulation of sorts, with the trailer also suggesting the story will be figurative and largely symbolic. We also note the trailer shows several scenes a few times over, though in each one there are subtle differences. While the studio behind this one are relatively unknown, they have secured the same musician behind the BAFTA award-winning score of Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, so with that sort of pedigree on board, we may very well be on course to bookend the year with something exceptional. Well, that's just about it for December's rundown. Still to come on Get Indie Gaming for the rest of the year, we have a lot more coverage of the best games coming out in 2020, and of course our Game of the Year Awards rundown, which drops December 14th. So go and put that date in your diary right now. Many thanks again for watching. If you've liked it, please give that like button a gentle little tickle, and if you haven't done so already, why not subscribe to the channel? All the very best, and we'll see you all again here soon for more indie game videos.